yes. So basically, I should have m mirroring, but it doesn't work because it's technology. So I'll be improvising a bit. And uh, ladies and gen gentlemen, my name is Fox, and the talk is Ace JavaScript Interviews, Scoping and Hoisting. So uh, we're going to play, play some role play to, to just convince you that you need this talk. So I am an, some experience, lead of experience something at Sapien, Sapien Nitro. My name is Tom. Is Tom here? Or here? I, can, I, I can be Tom, OK. And you are a developer applying for a job. At something Nitro, it's your dream job. And I'm asking you a question. Uh, yes, uh, in this case, what is going to be console logged when I uncomment this console log? Take a look at the code. You have 10 seconds. Two, one, okay. Uh, so, who knows? No way. Five, yes? <laughs> OK, who thinks it's one? Two hands. Who thinks it's something different and other ideas undefined, yes? One person thinks undefined. Who has another some other idea? Yes? Ten. OK. It's going to be ten. So, if you don't understand why, then you should listen to this talk, and I'm very glad that nobody knows, haha. <laughs> <laughs> Almost nobody. Almost nobody, yes. Uh, my dear friend from Detox Digital, I forgot your name. Alex. Alex. Yes, you're hired. <laughs> and so, let's start with... I will explain later. We later we'll understand why this is 10. Uh, so, scope is a visibility of variables in one part of a program to another part of that program. Simple. Visibility of variables and methods and constants that are in one part of your program to another part of that program. So if they are in one function, are they visible in another function and stuff like this. So, uh, so I'm defining a variable A. If you didn't realize it yet, this is actually a uh, JavaScript program. Except expect scope of A to B. And I want this to console log true. So what will be the scope of A? Jamie. What is the scope of A? Yes, there's a variable A in line 47 of my code. Yes, yes. What's the current lexical scope? Okay, I will show you the program from start. Here it starts. I'm showing you every line of the program. And now here I'm defining variable A. Current lexical scope, very smart answer. So, but a, a, an, another answer. It's another true answer. Yes? Yes, yeah. yes. You know, shit, 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 shit. That was intentional, but we can't see the question because. Yes, yes. Can can you see it now? A little bit better. A little. It's sorry. I I I cannot actually. Okay, let me add some empty lines. Okay, um, okay. Great answer. Make it not full screen, and move my talk a bit to the end. Uh, OK, where's my course cursor? Uh, I always wonder why the guys that are presenting talks are so bad with computers. And now I'm presenting the talk, and I can't use my computer. <laughs> <laughs> and I feel so ashamed. Uh, boom. Yes, OK. Alt F6. Shit, not, not the one. <laughs> Alt F5, yes. <laughs> so except, expect scope of A to B. Mm -hmm. it's, a it's global, yes. So you got the job because you're smart, but you don't know JavaScript. <laughs> uh, 
Yes, now we have another variable. There's a function fb. There's a block statement, if statement. And there's a variable b. Expect scope of b to b. Function scope. Correct. Okay, you guys are getting better. And you're learning quickly. And now, uh, this is actually... Exactly, because let is ES6. In ES6, you define variables with let and constants with const. And in this case, it's going to be a block scope. So function scope is all this function. And the block is actually this block, it starts here. So it's going to be visible only in this block. So who knows why in ES6, so in the newest version of JavaScript, they introduced a block scope. Why did they change it? Because of demand? Yeah, 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 because of demand, yeah, that's the correct answer. Because for some people like me, JavaScript is the best and the only language in the world that, that you should run on everything. But there are some other people like Java developers, C Sharp, and they come to JavaScript and they are confused because JavaScript is different. And in most of object-oriented languages, there is a block scope, so they made it a block scope. So it's simpler for developers coming from other languages. Uh, that's why also we made, they also raped JavaScript with other stuff like classical inheritance and you can cut this out, yes? <laughs> and so there's a function d and a function fd. And I'm going to uncomment this console log. What is going to be console logged? One second, I'll get some water. You need to think hard about this. What's going to be console locked? Okay, who knows? This only a very smart person will know. It's gonna be an error. Who who, who said it? Thank you. What's your name by the way? Oleg. Oleg. Yeah. Okay. And uh, Note one JS. It's a reference error. D is not defined. Correct. If it wasn't as yes, if it wasn't a strict mode, that's why I added use strict here. It would a JavaScript would automatically create this variable, but it's 2016, so let's assume we are using a strict mode because it's more and more default. And uh, yes. I'm going to uncomment this line. What is going to be console locked now? Correct answer. And now you're being, uh, how to call it, banned from giving answers to everybody. <laughs> uh, it's undefined. Why? Hmm? Okay, okay, I was, I was kidding, yes. Why is it going to be uh, undefined? Because of the hoisting, correct. So JavaScript has a very specific behavior called hoisting. All variables and methods are being declared, not defined. It's important, declared, not defined, and the top of their scope. So in this case, what's happening uh, I can show you at the moment. I run the program and this is undefined, not an error anymore. Because of hoisting, all variables are being declared on the top of their scope. This variable d has a function scope. It's being declared in here and defined in here. So when it's being declared here, it's undefined. So now this console log is giving you undefined. Thank you. Simple. And let me uh, just 
I'll comment all this stuff also. Yeah, okay, go. And go, go. Now, if I run this hoisted function, what's going to happen? Foo. Foo? It should be something nice. I need to change this code to yeah or something sign like smile or something like uh, because foo sounds stupid. Yes, it's going to say foo. Correct. Why? Because uh, as I said before, uh, due to hoisting, all functions and methods are being no methods are being not only declared but defined at the top of their scope. So actually all the functions hoisted and all these functions, JavaScript is not seeing it here, but is see seeing this in top of its scope. So with all the other functions, it's in the top of my file. So even before the title, that's where the function actually is. So now let's back to our quiz. One person knew it's 10 and uh, so, I will explain you now why. So, uh, we are in the function fx. Do you, okay, who now understands it, why it's 10? Okay, one person. <laughs> no, everybody should understand now, really, yes. Okay, I'm gonna go home. Uh, we have a variable x here in this function, but it's being declared at the top of this function. What has happened? It's being de declared at the top of this function, yes. So I have x here. Here is being only defined. So now I have x here and it's undefined. Uh, so, if not x, not undefined is equal to true, yes. As if you make it a boolean, yeah, yeah, uh, not undefined is true. So, this if statement is being executed, x is being defined as 10, and now what is going to be console log is 10, and if you don't believe me, I'm going to run this, and it's 10. <clears throat> Thank you, guys. Any questions? <laughs> yes. I, you see what I mean? I mean, like, uh, good linter won't allow you to kind of use variable before it requires it. Yes. And it's, uh, it's also a good code style, so. Yes. And, uh, you know, if you run this, uh, like, as a part of your uh, build system or something like this, you will always catch this, and uh, there will be no such situation. Correct. That's why there's a title of the talk, Ace JavaScript Interviews. As you know, Oleg, did, wh when did you have an interview last time? I know you probably always get hired on the first interview, but let's say you had a few. It took me about seven. Seven. You must have been picky. And uh, so this is Ace JavaScript. That's why I, the first title of the talk... Okay, basically what Oleg is saying is that at the moment... Uh, all professional companies on production are running code linters and they won't allow you to do stuff like this. Like the, this, 
they won't allow you to do stuff like this because they will know this is not clean code. And uh, so this code won't go on production. So I explained to Oleg why the first the first talk of the the first title of the talk was JavaScript back to basics. But then people were this is stupid. This is stupid. These are not real life examples. That's why I changed the talk to what was actually my goal. Ace JavaScript interviews, so a place where stupid is the goal. <laughs> Yes, I agree. Thank you, Oleg. I'm passing an advice from Oleg. Everybody should use code linters, like JS hint, for example. And they won't allow you to write stupid code. Uh, any more questions? As I'm aware of not. Are you aware no. of it? No, no. no. Is anyone aware of a language that does hoisting? So, <laughs> JavaScript was written by a guy, Bernard Eich. Up till today, he didn't tell anybody what was he thinking about when he wrote it. <laughs> and this is still a mystery in the history. And he will take it to his grave. I would, I, 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 I would love to be there when he will be dying to ask him these questions. <laughs> No, 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 I wouldn't like to see J JavaScript as, as the only language because there, I there are always tasks for, it for which other languages are better. There's always, you, you have a task and you choose the, b the best tool for the language. If you do machine learning and some data science, you would use Python, you have... But uh, basically, you can nowadays Code everything in JavaScript. Like all every uh, JavaScript is being on, on everything. Each device in this room, each computer in this room is running JavaScript because everything is a web browser. If it even if it doesn't, so it runs in every web browser in the world since 20 years. And it's uh, you can run it on servers as Node.js. Uh, all uh, new IoT devices, basically world of Internet of Things devices was always C and some Windows IDE. And now it's all being, all, it's all is moving to Node, JS, just to make it simpler for developers. Only some specific cases when you have a really unpowerful device that is running on battery, you still run it, you still code it in C. But at the moment, in a few years, uh, JavaScript will be on washing machine and your free fridge and of course your TV and it's, it's obvious and uh, what like what you, you code web servers nginx you can now script nginx which is one of the most popular servers in the world and using JavaScript because they just added scripting what Google Docs is JavaScript like go Google Docs yes like like ev ev everything is going to JavaScript it's the one language that you can do everything with and it's also a, lots of functional programming in, in uh, JavaScript. So it can be the only one. I'm not telling that everybody should be using JavaScript. Everybody should be free. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, on that note, <laughs> <laughs> another round of applause for Fox. <laughs>